Okay, let's see if this works. 25.3 degrees Fahrenheit. 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Twenty one thousand two hundred and ninety nine point seven miles. <coughs> okay. So I'm late for work again. But I thought I must get this video issue and vlogging thing figured out. So I've tried how many times I can't tell you. And it's time to just skedaddle. Excellent. Okay, I also have my tunes playing in the background. I got Metallica on the headphones right now. So, we'll do an introduction here in just a bit. Hello and good morning. And I have this Hero uh, wide angle uh, GoPro camera that I have on top of my helmet right now, which I am using. And for audio, I'm using an old H120 iRiver MP3 player, which has uh, capabilities of recording with a cheap $8 microphone stuck inside my helmet. This cat crap isn't working. I uh, bought cat crap about a week ago to try and see if it helps with the anti-fog. And although it keeps things much clearer, it doesn't work all that great. Now a little bit about my bike. It's a 2008 Kawasaki Ninja 250R. As you saw with just over... Whoa! with just over 21,000 miles on it. Uh, I absolutely love this bike. It's my fourth or fifth bike. I've had lots of other, well, I've had a few other larger bikes. And I gotta tell you, the, the 250 has everything that I want to have in a bike. Yeah, it's, it's, in my mind anyway, most adept at the various riding conditions I go through in a year. I try my best to ride year-round. Um, all the time. Quite simply because I think it can be done. Now obviously there are some days here in Colorado when that's just not possible. I mean, if you have too few snow on the ground, I, I don't care how good your motorcycle is unless you got one of those aftermarket track things with the ski up front it ain't going nowhere and uh, that's way too much work to convert over every time so I have a little Junker Subaru I drive during those days um, the bike hasn't been modified that much it still has the stock exhaust it's got a Swiss cheese airbox it's been uh, rejetted. <coughs> Whew, that's cold air. It's got a 102 main jet. So, with the Swiss cheese air box, it's getting a little bit extra air for the extra fuel. But, um, I wouldn't say anything to necessarily give a noticeable performance increase. 
What I will say, though, is that it makes riding in weather such as this much easier. Because I'm riding with no choke on, it idles just fine all by itself. I usually don't have to touch the idle screw. Um, except maybe twice a year as winter rolls in and that summer rolls in. Um, the more performance options you add, the better you get the engine to breathe. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the greater you increase the probability that you're going to have to rejet for summer and winter every season, which I have no problem with. Once I get everything figured out, and the exhaust mounted and so on and such forth, I'll be able to just have a set of summer jets and winter jets. Um, obviously I have the fender eliminator, um, I have some flush mount turn signals, I have the solo seat cowl on the rear. But other than that, oh, 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 massive add-on for the winter time. I have heated grips. It's probably about the best 30 bucks I've ever spent. Um, there's a write-up at New Ninja called Hotter Hands on how I did it. If you're interested, if you're not, cool. Don't waste your time. A little bit about me, I guess, is the next introduction. I got into motorcycling in 2005, my first Kawasaki Eliminator. It's a great learner bike. And I crashed that one in the snow a lot. Holy cow, it's cold. We'll hunker down a little bit here. Um, my, I have a very cheap helmet with lots of air leaks. So uh, my face gets really cold, especially my mouth. So that uh, I'll start talking like this and nothing will work anymore. Um, I have, uh, so I've ridden for the past four years, I've covered just shy of 80,000 miles on five different bikes, um, I still have my Eliminator, it has to be fixed up and sold, uh, because I want the next owner to have as much fun with it as I have with it, or had with it. I bought, actually I bought this Ninja as a cheap alternative to ride while I was fixing up the Eliminator. But I ended up liking the bike so much, just the nature of it, the character, that I think it's time to move on. I guess that's one of the nice things of motorcycles over women, is that you don't have to stay exclusive to them. I also pride myself in uh, being exclusive to my girlfriend and uh, in an unflinching manner, so to speak. Um, she's awesome, and she deserves it. <laughs>